My dear students, this magical logic is applicable in unbalanced Wheatstone bridges. Whether it is a resistor or a capacitor, we can apply in all the cases. For example, this is an unbalanced Wheatstone bridge which will break the law of symmetry, like 20, 40, and 40, 20. It is unbalanced, you know. And the capacitor here, 3, 1, and 1, and 3. It is also unbalanced with capacitor. In such cases, you know, you can just refer to any book. It's a very lengthy method given, but I have got a simple logic and magical logic it is. What you have to do, you know, you just find the average of these two. Okay, you can just find the average of these two. So if you find the average of these two, that is 40 plus 20 by 2, how much it is going to be? 30 ohms. Select the option which is very close to 30, your answer will be almost correct. I mean 100% correct, not almost. Thank you. Now just here, here also 1, 3, 3, 1 and 1, 3. It is also unbalanced with which one is related to capacitors here. But here in this case also, 3 plus 1 by 2 which is nothing but 2 ohms. Select the option which is less than 2, not 2, less than 2 I said. So this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is correct. That's it. Simple logic. It will help you to save a lot of your time. Thank you. My dear students, this is a problem asked by many students. I am going to discuss this in a super simple way. You can just see here, this is 2R and this is R. This much part of the circuit is uh, having the answer as 2R by 3. Because this is 2R and this is R. As this is a symmetrical figure, we will cut these connections here now. And there is nothing here. Okay. So this is 2R and this is R gives you 2R by 3. Similarly, this part also gives you 2R by 3. And this is R and this is R. R plus R, 2R. So 2R by 3 plus 2R gives you 8R by 3. Because these two we are adding. And they are in series. Similarly, this much part of the circuit if you consider, it is 8R by 3. And this total per circuit it is called as 8R by 3. 8R by 3, 8R by 3, they are in parallel. So when two resistors are in parallel and they are same, then it is half of the result will be half. That means 4R by 3. These combined together, it is 4R by 3. But in the middle, there is again 2R. Okay. So 2R. And what is they are parallel? 4R by 3 and this 2R are parallel. So 4R by 3 into 2R by 4R by 3 plus 2R. This is because R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. This is the formula in the parallel connection. So then finally, we'll be getting like this. So this is 3, 3 gets cancelled, RR gets cancelled, 2, 1, 2, 5. So your answer is, the resultant answer is going to be 4R by 5. 4R by 5. This is 4R by 5. That's it. Thank you very much. My dear students, uh, some of the students asked me what is the short trick to find out C across CAB in this type of a circuit. Then I told a very simple C across AB can be taken as 4C by 3. This is going to be your short trick here. That's it. Where C is equal to 5 microfarads. It's very simple. You can just write 4 into 5 by 3. That means 20 by 3 microfarads is going to be your answer. Then they asked, what is the reason why we have to take 4C by 3? Then I told, I will tell you the concept behind this. So if this is C and this is 2C, this is C and this is 2C, then what happens? If these two are series, uh, the upper part if you consider here, you will write 2C into C by 2C plus C, which is 2C square by 3C, which is nothing but 2C by 3. So upper part is 2C by 3, lower part is 2C by 3, then if you add them, it is going to be 4C by 3. That is going to be your answer. That's it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Friends, this is a problem of dimensional formulas. Let me discuss a super simple shortcut for solving this problem. He is asking the fundamental quantities. Where velocity, time and force are taken as fundamental quantities of mass and energy. So he is asking us to find out energy in terms of this. So this is a lengthy method it's given in the books. Let us bypass. And have a super simple structure here. You all know energy, our work, both are same. Which is taken as force into displacement. Force into displacement. Okay. So displacement I am taking is length. And he is asking us to find out velocity and time should be there in the dimensional formula. So here uh, we can write length. We can write length as 
velocity into time because velocity is equal to length by time or displacement by time length is equal to velocity into time so your formula is ready how do you feel without remembering any dimensional formulas you can solve this problem with a super simple way my dear students you can just see the question and the lengthy solutions given in the books let me bypass this uh, method and save a lot of your time you can just see here what is asking velocity of light gravitation constant Planck's constant and mass is taken here that means mass is equal to what are the things you have to consider gravitation constant g power a and Planck's constant h power b and velocity of light c power c you can take velocity of light is taken as c so this method if you use you are going to waste a lot of your time i have got a simple shortcut for this what is that let me discuss here now you all know f is equal to g m1 m2 means g m square by uh, r square or you can take d square whatever it may be so i am taking m square is equal to f into d square by g and what is f here f can be considered f into d into d by g you can write like this isn't it f into d i have taken and this force into displacement can be taken as work r energy both are going to be same here so e by d and this is taken as g here okay so but here g is present d is present here g is present h is present and c is present so we can write like this here now uh, energy can be taken as you know energy is equal to h nu or it can be called, taken as h by t frequency is reciprocal of time period so instead of energy i will take h by g and this t i will write below d h by t i am writing here g h is here g is like that only so what is going to happen now uh, i will write h g distance by time can be taken as velocity okay distance by time i will take it as velocity velocity of light i am going to take now so what i am going to get now this i will be getting like velocity of light is c so from this it is understood that m square is equal to h c by g square if you h c by g square if you send that side you will get h power 1 by 2 and c power 1 by 2 and divide by g power 1 by 2 so your answer is h power 1 by 2 and c power 1 by 2 g comes to numerator becomes g power minus 1 by 2 this is a simple method need not remember the dimensional formula for energy a gravitation constant Planck's constant nothing else you can just directly modify the formula and get the answer hope you have enjoyed this one thank you neat walon ke liye ek khush khabri hai itna bada method solve karne ki zarurat nahi i will teach you the method which will make you solve the problem without even solving also by just observation you can do the problem you can just see here now ab yahan par dekh lijiye ek body hai jiska initial velocity v not hai and it is going to strike the another body which is at rest a rest wale body se strike karega to after that what happens to the final uh, relative velocities he is asking the question but if you observe the question here if you observe 50% greater final kinetic energy is 50% greater that means in the final case 50% greater kinetic energy is there than the initial that means definitely final velocity should be greater final velocity is final relative velocity should be greater so if you observe in all the cases there is only one case in which the final velocity is greater than the initial velocity so here root 2 v naught is greater than v naught so in all the remaining cases it is less only in the fourth case it is greater so your answer is fourth option thank you very much my dear friends see the lengthy methods given in the books you can avoid this one iski zarurat nahi hai you can do the problem just by observing without any pen and paper kaise to ye jo hai na rectangular shape hai isme se this part has been removed then what happens to the center of mass this center of mass shifted towards heavier portion heavy body this side it is heavy so it is shifted downwards like this and you know a by 2 b by 2 is nothing but 0.5 a comma 0.5 b so uh, this point if it is shifted it should be less than 0.5 so this is go not going to satisfy this is not going to satisfy this is not going to satisfy 5 by 12 means it is going to be 0.42 a okay 0.42 a and 0.42 b 
so which is less than 0 0.5 so this is only going to satisfy remaining or not thank you heating effect of electric current let us solve the problem before that what is the concept behind that uske piche ka concept kya hai let me discuss about that so first of all we should know what is the formula for power let me discuss about the power here so for that you all know power is nothing but work by time and you also know electric potential is nothing but work done on unit charge and you also know w will become cross multiplication if you do vq so power is equal to v into q by t okay and you also know that q is equal to it because i is nothing but q by t current is nothing but charge by time here so we write power v you write like that only instead of q you write i into t divided by t so t t gets cancel the formula for power is v into i v into i this is the basic formula and you also know v is equal to ir v is equal to ir you will substitute here you will be getting how much power is equal to i into r into i so therefore power is equal to i square r this is one formula you have to remember okay the next formula is you also know i is equal to v by r according to ohm's law so we will be writing power is equal to v square by r square into r so r r gets cancel power is equal to v square by r here when does this formula applicable and when is this formula applicable see here current is present here so this formula is applicable current is present here this formula is applicable when the series connection is present and current passing is same when the current is same we apply this formula when parallel connection is given potential is same when potential is same we will apply the formula in which potential is present so if you observe here it is a case of parallel connection as it is a case of parallel connection we will consider the parallel circuit in which potential is going to be same here okay so and when you consider this concept here potent uh, mean power is inversely proportional to resistance here here power is directly proportional to resistance if it is a series connection but the problem says it's a parallel connection so therefore we write okay so he is asking the ratio here p1 by p2 is equal to r2 by r1 what is r2 here it is 200 divided by 100 so your option is 2 is 1 that's it this is the concept here pare bachcho ek video mera youtube ke andar tezi se viral ho raha kyunki maine aise formulas bataya hai jahan par aapko youtube mein kahi nahi milenge wo formulas kya the aur wo video kyun viral hua main bolta hu aapko uske piche ka raaz bolta hu so ye do convex lenses hai iske beech mein jo hai na ek liquid hai ये प्रॉब्लम है प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस का नीट के अंदर भी पूछा है इसको तो इसके पीछे का रास क्या है मैं तुमको दो फार्मूलास बताया जो कि शॉर्टकट है जो कि काफी तेजी से वायरल हो गए और तकरीबन मेरे अभी 40000 के करीब सब्सक्राइबर्स हो गए और वीडियो पे जो है ना 4 लाख के ऊपर व्यूज आ गए तो मैं बताता हूं आपको क्या हुआ यहां पर तो अगर यहां पर अगर कोई दूसरा लिक्विड है वाटर के अलावा कोई दूसरा लिक्विड है तो मैंने बताया शॉर्टकट फार्मूला ये यूज करना है अगर यहां पर लिक्विड के अलावा कोई वाटर है तो आपको ये शॉर्टकट फार्मूला यूज करना पड़ेगा आपको फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकंड्स में आंसर आ जाता अब मैं ये ये फार्मूलास के पीछे का राज भी समझाता हूं मैं आपको अभी देख लीजिए यहां पर फोकल लेंथ दे दिया 20 सो इसको झट से आंसर आ जाएगा 3 into 20 by 4 ओके okay? 4 5 are 20, 3 5 are 15. Okay. So, this is the answer. This answer. This is the answer. This is the answer. So, this is the answer. Hai. D option. This is the answer. This is not the answer here. Okay. So, this is going to be the answer. If liquid is liquid, then you can use this formula. For example, this is not the For example, this is not the answer. If you have liquid, then you can use this formula. If you have water, you can use this formula. Use kar sakte. मगर म्यूअल के प्लेस में 4 बाय 3 यूज करो तो यहां पर भी सेम आंसर आएगा आपको चाहे तो आप देख लीजिए एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ क्या है यहां पर फोकल लेंथ 20 ओके बाय 4 2 म्यू ऑफ अ लिक्विड 
क्या दिया म्यू ऑफ वाटर दिया वाटर फोर बाई थ्री ओके सो आप देख लीजिए यहां पर फोर एफ एन इज इक्वल टू ओके तो यहां पर क्या है बोले तो यहां पर थोड़ा सा ट्वेंटी बाई ओके थ्री फोर सा ट्वेल्व ओके सो ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर टू सा एट इंटू थ्री थ्री ऊपर चले जाए तो यहां पर क्या हो रहा है यहां पर ट्वेंटी थ्री सा सिक्सटी और ट्वेल्व माइनस एट क्या हो रहा है फोर यहां पर भी फिफ्टीन आंसर आ रहा है तो डायरेक्टली अगर वाटर दे दिया तो ये फॉर्मा यूज करना कोई और लिक्विड दिया तो ये फॉर्मा यूज करना ये वाटर के लिए भी काम आता अच्छे बोल रहे सर इतने फॉर्मूलाज देंगे तो कैसे अपन याद रखेंगे परेशान हो रहे मैं बोला इसके लिए आपको इसका पीछे का कॉन्सेप्ट समझा देता हूं इसका पीछे का राज भी बोल देता हूं आज इसके पीछे का राज क्या है देख लीजिए आप लोग ये हो गया लेंस मेकर फॉर्मूला ठीक है तो म्यू माइनस वन वन बाय आर वन माइनस वन बाय आर टू अभी मैं एक कॉन्वेक्स लेंस लेता हूं ओके तो इसका रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर पहले वाले का प्लस आर और दूसरे वाले का रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर माइनस आर यहां पर सब्सिट्यूट कर दिया लेंस मेकर फॉर्मूला के अंदर तो मैं इस शॉर्टकट फार्मूला को किस तरह तैयार किया किस तरह बनाया रिसर्च किस तरह किया रिसर्च वर्क के बारे में बोल रहा हूं आपको तो यहां पर क्या हो गया म्यू माइनस वन टू बाई आर तो फोकल लेंथ लेंस मेकर फार्मूला से एक शॉर्टकट फार्मूला में ले लेके आया तो फोकल लेंथ यफ इज इक्वल आर बाई टू इंटू म्यू माइनस वन अब इसमें से मैं क्या करा ग्लास ले लिया ओके तो वॉट हैव डन मैं क्या करा ग्लास ले लिया ग्लास के लिए क्या करा फोकल लेंथ ऑफ ए ग्लास इज इक्वल टू रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर डिवाइडेड बाई ग्लास का कितना है थ्री बाई टू माइनस वन ओके सो थ्री बाई टू माइनस वन क्या हो गया वन बाई टू हो गया इसका मतलब आर बाई टू इंटू वन बाई टू सो टू टू गेट्स कैंसल फोकल लेंथ इज गोइंग टू बी रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर तो यहां पर कॉन्वेक्स लेंस का फोकल लेंथ रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर दो सेम है इफ इट इज एन इक्वी कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इक्वी मतलब दोनों का रेडियस अगर सेम है तो फोकल लेंथ और रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर सेम होगा ये रास की बात है इसको समझना होगा ये अगर समझ में आ गया ठीक है तो बीच में जो हम लिक्विड लिए उसको मैं क्या करा कोई भी अगर दूसरा लिक्विड है तो क्या करना है तो रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर फोकल लेंथ इसका मतलब लिक्विड लेंस का रेडियस और ग्लासेस का रेडियस दोनों का रेडियस सेम है भी क्योंकि लेंसेस के बीच में ही तो वाटर डाला हुआ है इसका रेडियस इसका ये कॉन्वेक्स लेंस बन रहा आइडर साइड में कॉन्वेक्स लेंस बन रहा बीच में कॉन्केव लेंस और कॉन्केव लेंस का रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर कॉन्वेक्स लेंस का रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर दोनों सेम दे आर गोइंग टू बी सेम दे आर तो यहां पर अभी लेंस का फॉर्मा क्या है यही शॉर्टकट फॉर्मा यूज करा लेंस के लिए और मैं क्या करा आर बाई टू इंटू म्यू एल माइनस वन यूज कर तो म्यू एल को वैसे ही रख दिया वैसे रख के क्या करा मैं यहां पर वन बाई यफ नेट फोकल लेंथ नेट इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोकल लेंथ ऑफ ए ग्लास और मिडिल में क्या है यहां पर मिडिल में कॉन्केव लेंस है तो माइनस लिया लिक्विड के लिए और यहां पर फिर से प्लस लिया फोकल लेंथ ऑफ ए ग्लास तो मैं क्या करा यहां पर फोकल लेंथ नेट इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोकल लेंथ ऑफ ए ग्लास क्या हो गया आर यानी कि यफ यफ समझो इसको यफ ही डाल दो और फोकल लेंथ ऑफ ए लेंस के लिए क्या करेंगे आप लोग ये फॉर्मूला डाल दी यहां पर सब्सिट्यूट कर दो इसका मतलब मैं क्या कर रहा यहां पर आर आर का मतलब यफ ही होगा बोथ आर सेम तो मैं क्या कर दिया यहां पर इसको क्या कर सकते यफ बाई टू इंटू म्यू एल माइनस वन आर इज इक्वल टू यफ लिक्विड लेंस का भी आर इज इक्वल टू यफ ही है मीन ग्लास लेंस का भी आर इक्वल टू यफ है तो मैं क्या करा वन बाई एफ डाल दिया और फोकल लेंथ ऑफ ए लेंस के प्लेस में नीचे यफ डाल के टू इंटू म्यू ऑफ ए लिक्विड माइनस वन डाल दिया और प्लस फोकल लेंथ वन बाई एफ डाल दिया इसको मैं क्या करा सिंप्लीफाई कर दिया यफ को डिनोमिनेटर में कॉमन करके सिंप्लीफाई कर दिया तो मेरे को क्या हुआ एक नया फॉर्मूला बन के आ गया ये फॉर्मूला बन के आ गया एग्जाम के अंदर हर मरतबा उतना बड़ा डेरिवेशन करने के लिए टाइम नहीं रहता ना मैं सोचा बच्चों का टाइम सेव कर सकता हूं थोड़ा ग्राउंड वर्क करके तो ये फॉर्मूला आपको आ गया ठीक है फिर मैं क्या करा अगर हमेशा की तरह यहां पर लिक्विड के बदले में वाटर अगर दे दिया तो इसके अंदर मैं वाटर को डाल दिया म्यूएल के अंदर वाटर को डाल दिया जैसे कि आप देख लीजिए तो फोकल लेंथ नेट इज इक्वल टू यफ बाई फोर माइनस टू इंटू वाटर को डाल दिया वाटर क्या हो गया यहां पर आई मीन वाटर हो गया फोर बाई थ्री सो फोकल लेंथ नेट इज इक्वल टू ओके सो यहां पर हो गया फोर थ्री एफ 
थ्री फोर जै ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व माइनस टू फोर एट ट्वेल्व माइनस एट मतलब फोर ओके तो यहां पर क्या कर दिया उसी को सिंप्लीफाई करके यहां पर डाल दिया अगर वाटर अगर है तो ये फॉर्मा यूज करेंगे दूसरा लिक्विड अगर है तो फिर ये फॉर्मा यूज करेंगे इसका ग्राउंड वर्क कहां पर है ये ग्राउंड वर्क है इसके अंदर आप चाहे तो एक मरतबा डिराइव करके देख लीजिए ठीक है मजा आ गया एंजॉय थैंक यू A very surprising formula. I am going to explain. This is a question which is asked by one of my subscriber. He asked this question in which there is a cube whose side length is fifty centimeters, and this small bubble inside the cube appears to be six centimeters if you see from this side, and from this side if you see it appears to be four centimeters. And in such situation, he is asking us to find out the refractive index. This is the solution given in the books, but I'll give you a shortcut. You can just take mu is equal to real length by apparent length. <coughs> real length is fifteen. Apparent length means this six and this four combined together. If you do, it is fifteen by ten. That is one point five. Is it okay? Enjoy. Thank you. This is one minute series concept of electromagnetic wave. Let us take an electromagnetic wave here, which is having magnetic field as well as electric field. You know force due to magnetic field. You know force due to magnetic field is equal to force due to electric field, and force due to magnetic field is given by B V Q. And force due to electric field formula, you know already, it is Q into E. Q Q gets cancelled. You will get E is equal to B V. V means velocity. But here you are considering an electromagnetic wave instead of ordinary velocity. You will take velocity of light. Then what happens? E not is equal to B not into C instead of V. E not means amplitude of uh, electric wave, and B not means uh, amplitude of magnetic wave. B not E not is maximum amplitude. She is asking us to find out the magnetic field. So B not is equal to E not by C. Then what happens? Let us see. So here. You write B not is equal to E not is already given as forty eight divided by three into ten power eight. You just solve. You will be getting one point six into ten power minus seven tesla. Thank you very much. Welcome to one minute series. This is the question asked in previous year, twenty twenty two. In NEET, let me discuss an electromagnetic wave in which there is a magnetic wave and an electric wave. Both are mutually perpendicular to each other. But you should know one thing that force due to magnetic field is equal to force due to electric field. Force due to electric field is equal to force due to magnetic field. Then what is going to happen? Let us see. Force due to electric field is given by Q into E. Force due to magnetic field is B V Q. Then charge charge gets cancelled here. Oh, what is left? E is equal to B into V. But it is a wave having velocity of light, not V. You can consider it as C. E is equal to B C. And he is asking us to find out. What is that he is asking us to find out? He is asking us to find out the ratio of B by E. So B by E is equal to one by C. That's it. Your answer is C option. Thank you very much. Welcome to one minute series of electromagnetic waves. This is a question asked in pre. I mean, twenty twenty two NEET. Let me discuss what is going to happen here. You all know velocity of light. In here is given by C, which is equal to one by square root of mu naught epsilon naught, where mu naught is permeability and epsilon naught is permittivity of a free space. Now, velocity of light, velocity of light in a medium is given by one by square root of mu epsilon mu epsilon. This is for medium. 
This is for medium. Now he is asking us to find out V by seeing the four options. That means a uh, C by V is equal to square root of a mu this c c is upwards mu naught comes to denominator and mu comes to numerator mu naught into c epsilon and epsilon naught okay epsilon and epsilon naught with this it is clear that mu by mu naught can be taken as mu r which is called as relative permittivity permeability and epsilon by epsilon naught is taken as epsilon r you all know about this but he's asking us to find out v so v is equal to c divided by square root of mu r epsilon r this is going to be our solution that is c option thank you very much my dear students welcome to Two minute series of shortcut explanation of a concept here. We shall discuss about electromagnetic wave special as in 2021. Here, let us discuss that there is a capacitor, and these two plates of the capacitor are connected to the battery. You all know the current passing through the wire is said to be. It is said to be drift current. It is said to be drift current. And the current flows in the wire. And this is a cyclic process. You know, there is a capacitor having positive charge and negative charge because this is connected to positive and negative. But in between the capacitors, there is a gap. In this gap, the current passing is said to be displacement current. And this displacement current we have to find out. And this is a concept of a capacitor. You all know a capacitor charge is equal to capacitance into potential difference which is connected here. And drift current if you want to find out you have to write dq by dt. Differentiate charge with respect to time because you all know I is equal to Q by T. But here you write DQ by DT differentiation. And you write ID is equal to D by DT of C into V. Capacitance is constant. Whereas potential is changing. And uh, it is said in the problem that you have to consider if you consider the AC if you consider the AC current then what happens it is represented with V is equal to V naught sine omega T because it is a sinusoidal wave then you write drift current is equal to D by DT of C is constant instead of V you write V naught sine omega t. So C you write like that only. And uh, V naught you write like that only. Sine omega t if you differentiate you will get cos omega t. Okay. And you have to differentiate once again. Omega t also you have to differentiate once again. They will get omega. So sin omega t means cos omega t. In, inside omega t is present if you differentiate omega t once again with respect to time. Okay. So omega into dt by dt is equal to 1. Omega is left. Then finally you will be getting one equation. That is drift current is equal to C omega V naught cos omega t. This is going to be our final answer. That is said to be B option. This second as B option. That's it. Thank you very much. My dear students, this is a previous year question asking. 2015 need so let us see uh, what is he asking us to find out you are very well known you are very well known that according to Einstein E is equal to mc square and you also know E is equal to mc into c 
mc into c and you also know momentum is equal to mass into velocity or momentum is equal to mass into velocity of light anything is same that is p so can you write e is equal to pc can you write e is equal to pc can you write p is equal to e by c let us take this is initial this is final p is equal to e by c any body from any body radiations goes and strikes and returns back then what happens to the momentum so here he is asking us to find out the change in momentum so momentum initial minus of momentum final when it goes it is initial p when it returns back it is going to be how much okay it goes it is p initial is p p final is minus p because it is returning back so change in momentum while going while going and striking a body it is taken as what is that e by c while returning back minus of minus e by c so change in momentum is 2e by c okay thank you very much my dear students this is a problem of electromagnetic waves let us take intensity intensity of light coming from the sun is nothing but power passing per unit area okay power passing per unit area and you also know intensity power is equal to energy by time divided by area intensity is equal to energy energy is nothing but force into displacement area i will write first time i will write next and displacement by time you can club it then force by area displacement by time is taken as velocity but here it is taken as velocity of light so you got i is equal to f c by a next here f is equal to i a by c okay now when the light falls and reflects back when a light falls and reflects back then force is going to become 2 ia by c double because it falls on a body and reflects back then you can consider double here thank you very much and the thing is you have to substitute the values here force is equal to 2 intensity means 25 into 10 power 4 and what is this else now area is given so area what is area area is into 15 centimeters means convert into meters 10 power minus 2 whole square divided by c then what is c here c is nothing but 3 into 10 power 8 just calculate and get the answer find out the correct option in this description okay keep the answer i would like to discuss a shortcut for this he want a shortcut for this let me discuss the shortcut it's very simple is asking us to find out the voltmeter reading how can you find out the voltmeter reading without pen and paper so simple it is you can just see this is 4 and 6 and this is 16 and 4 that means this is completely this is completely how much 20 ohms this is also completely how much 20 ohms that means 1 ampere gets divided equally because resistances are same here also 1 ampere here also 1 ampere 2 amperes gets divided here then it's very simple this 1 ampere and 4 ohms is going to become 4 ohms because v is equal to ir according to ohms law this is 4 volts this is 16 into 1 16 volts that's it you need to find out the difference of these two 
16 and 4. 16 minus 4 gives you the answer. That is 12 volts is going to be your answer. My dear students, one student want a shortcut for this problem. Okay. He is asking us to find out the voltmeter reading in this case. Okay. So how are you going to find out the voltmeter reading? In a super simple way. The first thing is, you know the upper resistance is 50. Lower resistance is 50. Upper is 50, lower is 50. When both the resistance are parallel and they are same, then the resultant is half of any one. Means for all these four resistors, you know net resistance is going to be how much? 50, 50 means 50 by 2 which is 25 ohms. We got the net resistance. We have got the net voltage. We want the net current. Net current is net voltage by net resistance which is nothing but 2 by 25 which is nothing but 2 by 25 so which is amperes okay so in this circuit how much current is passing now the current passing is 2 by 25 in the whole circuit this current gets equally divided among these two here how much it has to flow it has to flow 1 by 25 okay 1 by 25 amperes here how much here also 1 by 25 amperes 1 by 25 amperes because 2 by 25 gets divided equally then you need to find out what is the potential at this place what is the potential at this place now potential at this place is nothing but V is equal to IR I is 1 by 25 into 20 so 20 by 25 and how much is the potential here? Here also V is equal to IR which is 30 into 25 is nothing but 30 by 25. Here potential is 30 by 25. Here it is how much? 20 by 25. Okay. So uh, this point let us imagine it is A. Let us take this as B. So VA is how much? VA at this place is 30 by 25. Uh, VB at this place is 20 by 25. And voltmeter reading is how much? It is going to be the difference. How much is the difference here now? 30 by 25 minus 20 by 25. It is nothing but 10 by 25. Okay. So it's going to be how much? 40 by 100. If you multiply with 4, 40 by 100, which is nothing but 0 0.4 and 0 0.4 volts. 0 0.4 volts. That's it. Friends, see the lengthy methods given in the books. Not necessary. Let us solve a simple shortcut method to solve the problem of this series here. Okay. So this is going to be Lyman series and that is fund series. You know the lengthy methods given in the books here. But you should remember only one thing that frequency is inversely proportional to square root of principal quantum number. So uh, frequency of Lyman by frequency of fund series is equal to NP whole square by NL whole square. That is phi square by one square that is uh, by fund is equal to 25. Therefore, frequency of fund series is equal to frequency of Lyman by 25. So, with this simple sh uh, shortcut formula, you're getting the answer B as a correct option. Hope you have enjoyed this one. Yes, friends, see the lengthy methods given in the books. This much method is not necessary. Let us have a simple shortcut formula for the last line of Balmer series to that of last line of Lyman series. He is asking us to find out the frequency ratios or uh, he is asking us to find out wavelength ratios. Then we can use this relation and find that lambda is directly proportional to square of principal quantum number. That's it. So he is asking first Balmer series. Lambda Balmer by lambda Lyman is equal to n Balmer by n Lyman whole square. n Balmer is 2, n Lyman is 1 whole square. So 4. So the ratio of lambda Balmer to that of lambda Lyman is taken as 4. Such a simple shortcut method it is. Thank you. Let us discuss the worst shortcut. Here he is asking us to find out the potential energy and kinetic energy in a 
hydrogen atom you all know kinetic energy is always positive and potential energy is always negative in an atom so need not solve need not solve directly you can say this is positive and this is negative so c option is correct and remaining options are completely different my dear students this was a question asked in neat 2018 he is asking us to find out what is the ratio of kinetic energy to that of total energy and you know the formulas for total energy kinetic energy and potential energy if you take these two formulas it is understood that to kinetic energy is equal to minus times of total energy kinetic energy is equal to minus sign times of total energy because minus sign is there here so with this it is understood that b is going to be the correct option because one is to minus one this is one means this should be minus one that's it no boolean algebra no two table i use reverse method to solve the problems of diodes for example he is telling that output is one so output if it is 1 it is an AND gate output is 1 only when both the inputs are 1 because 1 into 1 is nothing but 1 here that means C is definitely 1 so select the option in which C is 1 enough in the second case also he is telling that Y is equal to 0 if Y is equal to 0 you have to select such a case whether this is 1 or 0 doesn't matter but C should be compulsory 0 if C is compulsorily 0 then only it is going to be 0 because 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 therefore option is A so completely input C should be 0 definitely so reverse method how did you feel it can be solved without boolean algebra without true table also he is asking that output should be 1 then what are the correct inputs for this I will use reverse method I don't take inputs and find the output by using two table I take reverse method I take y is equal to 1 and this is an AND gate output is 1 when both the inputs are 1 that means C should be definitely 1 and your option is fourth option thank you let us see the lengthy methods given in the books. This is not at all necessary. Let us have a simple shortcut formula for this previous year neat question. Now we can just see this is asked the latest 2023. So he is asking us to find out the wavelength ratios. If you observe here, he is taking a bomber series, he is taking a bracket series. He is asking us to find out the shortest wavelength of a bracket series. Whereas bomber series is given as lambda here. So lambda bracket by lambda bomber is equal to, it is n bracket by n bomber whole square because wavelength is directly proportional to square of principal quantum number I said many times there is a simple shortcut method here so lambda bracket is lambda br lambda bomber is given as lambda which is nothing but n bracket by n bomber is how much n bracket is 4 by 2 whole square which is 2 which is 4 here 2 square is 4 therefore lambda bracket is equal to 4 times of lambda bomber that's it your option is b that's it students see the lengthy methods given in the books this is not at all necessary. I've got a simple shortcut for you. That is, wavelength is directly proportional to square of principal quantum number. You can just see wavelength of Lyman series to that of wavelength of Balmer series is uh, principal quantum number of Lyman, principal quantum number of Balmer whole square. So Lyman is 1, Balmer is 2, which is whole square 1 by 4, which is 0 0.25. This is your simple shortcut instead of using these lengthy methods. Thank you. Hey students, see the question asked in previous years. He is asking us to find out the ratio of velocities. He has given he has given the metal frequency and also frequency of an incident light ray. Metal frequency, frequency of an incident light ray. And you can just see the lengthy methods given in the books. We can bypass this method by simply he is asking us to find out the velocity ratios. You can just take velocity is directly proportional to frequency difference. So therefore we can write velocity V1 by V2 is equal to square root of frequency difference is nothing but. Here this is 2F naught minus F naught. And this is 5F naught 
minus f naught. So you will be getting square root of f naught by 4 f naught. So your answer is 1 is to 2. So this is C option. The simple shortcut formula you can solve this problem instead of going with lengthy methods. Thank you very much. My dear students, see here. How to solve this problem without even completing this square wave? The shortcut here is you just uh, will choose the four values and find out the solution and get the correct option. This is the shortcut here. You can just see here. A is uh, A is a zero. B is a zero. Then C is also zero. That means zero zero is zero here. This is one. This is zero and this is one. Means one zero is one. And again here, this is one. This is one and this is one. One one is one again. Here this is 0, this is 1 and this is 1. 0, 1 is also 1. So without remaining, remaining things you need not, you need not test here. This many values you test will get the answer directly. So what type of gate it is? It is, it is an R gate. That's it. Because it is doing only addition operation A plus B. So this is taken as A option. Hope you have enjoyed this. If you see the lengthy methods given in the books. This is not at all necessary. I have a shortcut for you. We can solve the problem without pen and paper also. What is that? You know, see, you just remember one thing that the speed of electrons in a photoelectric effect is directly proportional to square root of energy coming from the sun and work function. So therefore, V1 by V2 is equal to E1 minus W0 divided by E2 minus W0. It is given that E1 is one point, I mean one electron volt, E2 is 2.5 electron volts. That's it. W0 is common 0 0.5. You just do, do the difference, you'll be getting square root of 0 0.5 divided by 2. Therefore, V1 by V2 is equal to 1 by 4 under root, which is 1 by 2. So, your answer is? My dear students, see the lengthy methods in the books. Not necessary. I have got a shortcut for you. The shortcut is, you can just see the electron transition takes place from third excited state to second excited state it is taken as wavelength lambda and second excited state to first excited state it is taken as lambda 2 and the shortcut formula for you is lambda is directly proportional to product of product whole square by sum product of principal quantum numbers for example if you take lambda 1 it is 4 into 3 and lambda 2 it is 3 into 2 so therefore lambda 1 by lambda 2 is product whole square means 4 into 3 whole square by 4 plus 3 divided by 3 into 2 whole square by 3 plus 2 if you calculate this directly you will be getting 20 by 7 if you want you can check it out ok friends see the lengthy methods given in the books not necessary I have got a shortcut for you it is a case of uh, wavelength ratios of Bama series whose transition is from n equal to 2 to 3 I mean 3 to 2 again in second line also it is from n equal to 4 to 2 in the same case of Bama series you can see the lengthy methods but there is a shortcut for you wavelength is directly proportional to product whole square divided by sum into difference this is my shortcut here so in the first transition you have to consider the wavelength is given here so lambda 1 by lambda 2 is equal to product whole square this is lambda 1 lambda 1 is with you 660 lambda 2 you have to find out so product whole square means in the first case transition 3 into 2 whole square by 3 plus 2 into sum into difference means 3 plus 2 into 3 minus 2 similarly here also transition is uh, 4 to 2 so 4 into 2 whole square by 4 plus 2 4 minus 2 so by cross multiplication you get this answer you solve and comment below whether you have got the answer or not thank you my dear students how can you understand this logic gate in a super simple way you can just see that these two are the switches and this is a bulb of high resistance you remember only one sentence you can solve this the current always follows low resistance path and this is very high high resistance bulb is having high resistance so the current will pass in this direction and bulb will not glow only when both the switches are closed that means bulb will not glow means bulb will show zero when both are closed in remaining cases the bulb will glow because anyone is open the current has to pass through the bulb because there is no other way 
my dear students this is a neat previous year question i would like to explain this in a super simple way you can just see the circuit here here the resistance here this is a bulb here see this bulb will glow only when both are open this is a switch which is open this is an open then only the current will pass through the bulb bulb will glow both are open means this is zero this is zero and the bulb will glow means glowing means one not glowing means zero let us imagine that i have closed this one i have closed this one means this is going to become one now then the current will pass through this path and goes to the ground it will never flow through the bulb and if i close this one also the current will flow in this direction because current is very intelligent it always follows low resistance path never likes to go through the bulb it goes when there is no other way hope you have enjoyed this one that's why when both are zeros current will flow bulb will glow means one in remaining cases the bulb will not glow and now tell me what type of gate this is in a comment my dear friends this is a previous year question asked in neat 2023 he is asking us to find out what is the relation between a radius of an orbit and principal quantum number radius of an orbit and principal quantum number 1 2 3 4 of these shells you should remember one thing that radius is directly proportional to square of principal quantum number see radius of the first orbit it is given as 5.3 into 10 power minus 11 which can be taken as 0.53 armstrongs you have to convert meters into armstrongs that's it r is directly proportional n square that is r2 by r1 is equal to n2 by n1 whole square so r2 is going to become n2 n2 is nothing but 3 by 1 because third orbit is to first orbit into r1 so you have to write r1 which is 0.53 so therefore 9 into 0.53 gives you 4.77 armstrongs so d is and see the lengthy solutions which are given in the textbooks But I have got a wonderful shortcut for you, and the shortcut is in this case of a zener diode. Whenever it is given that in a zener diode, V input is 120, okay, and this is series resistance R S. This is voltage across the zener diode, and this is voltage resistance across the load. That's it. If this is the data given, we can use a direct single step formula here. What is that? Current across the zener diode is asking us to find out. So current across the zener diode is V in minus V Z by R S minus V Z by R L. This formula directly to apply. Okay. So V in is 120, V Z is 15, R S is this one, 5 kilo ohms. So 5 into 10 power 3, and this is 50 again. V Z is 50 divided by R L is 10 K. K means 10 power 3. So if you simplify this one, take this 10 power 3 to the numerator 10 power minus 3, it becomes 14 minus 5 that is 9. Into 10 power minus 3 amperes, which is nothing but 9 milli amperes. This is going to be your answer. That's where is the time for this many big calculations in the exam? Not necessary. I have got a shortcut for you. This is going to be your shortcut here. He is asking us to find out the wavelength. He is asking us to find out the wavelength, and he has given the work function W not here. He has given the work function, and there is a simple shortcut formula present in almost all the CAMP two exam books. There is W naught is equal one two three seven five by lambda. Lambda is nothing but one two three seven five by W naught. Enough. You can do this problem in just single step. There is one two three seven five divided by W naught. There is four point one two five. Okay, so four point one two five gives you exactly three thousand Armstrongs, and your answer is already. कौन मेडिकल स्टूडेंट चाहता है कि इंटीग्रेशन एंड डिफरेंशिएशन से प्रॉब्लम करे कोई नहीं चाहता वी कैन अवॉइड दैट वन नो नीड ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन नो नीड ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन डायरेक्टली वी कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वी कैन अवॉइड ऑल दिस न्यूसेंस एंड नॉनसेंस अब देखिए आप लोग यहां पर जो इक्वेशन दिया है ना ये इक्वेशन को इस्तेमाल करके डायरेक्टली विदाउट पेन पेपर सॉल्व कर सकते कैसे अभी देखिए ये इक्वेशन में यहां पर लिख दिया एंड आई एम कंपेयरिंग दिस इक्वेशन विद जनरल इक्वेशन यस इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ए डी स्क्वायर अब यहां पर देखिए यहां पर क्या है हाफ ए के प्लेस में माइनस टू है और ये क्या हो गया माइनस फोर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई कर दो फोर मीटर्स पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स कोई भी प्रॉब्लम को बगैर इंटीग्रेशन एंड डिफरेंशिएशन के मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स किस तरह कर सकते हैं 
वो टेक्निक्स और वो चीट कोड्स मैं आप लोगों को बताता हूं सबसे पहले देख लीजिए प्रॉब्लम और इसका इंटीग्रेशन मेथड भी देख लीजिए मैं आपको बगैर इंटीग्रेशन के सॉल्व करना सिखा रहा हूं यू कैन जस्ट सी द इक्वेशन ये सारा प्रॉब्लम अच्छी तरह से पढ़ लीजिए आप लोग मुझे पढ़ने की कोई जरूरत नहीं आई कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम बाय जस्ट दिस इक्वेशन x इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी प्लस फोर टी स्क्वायर मैं क्या करता हूं इसको s इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर के साथ कंपेयर करता हूं अभी देख लीजिए यहां पर हाफ ए के पास क्या क्या चीज है ये और ये हाफ ए इज इक्वल टू फोर ये इज इक्वल टू एट मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर आ गया मेरा आंसर होप यू हैव एंजॉय माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू वांट टू कॉन्कर फिजिक्स देन जस्ट फॉलो द इजीएस्ट माइंडसेट मेथड सो क्रिएट इजीएस्ट मेथड फॉर टफेस्ट प्रॉब्लम सी स्पेशली फॉर बाईपीसी स्टूडेंट्स यू नो इट इज वेरी टफ टू डू ऑल दिस इंटीग्रेशन एंड डेरिवेशन सी द सोल्यूशन हियर सो दिस इज अंथी सोल्यूशन आई वुड लाइक टू मेक दिस लेंथी सोल्यूशन इन टू ए सुपर सिंपल मेथड वॉट इज आस्टिंग टू फाइंड आउट फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन इज आस्टिंग टू फाइंड आउट द एक्सलेशन वॉट इज दर इट्स जस्ट कॉमन सेंस इफ यूज देन यू कैन डू वंडर्स यू कैन डू वंडर्स आई एम हियर टू हेल्प यू ओके सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू हियर इज यू जस्ट राइट दिस इक्वेशन लाइक वी स्क्वायर माइनस यू स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू ए एस so convert the above equation like this so what i am going to do here is you just uh, square on both sides then you will be getting 500 plus 24x so i can just write this as v square minus 5000 is equal to 2 into 12 into x you can just compare these two equations now you can just compare these two equations here acceleration is there here acceleration is there So instead of displacement here x is there. So directly you can write acceleration as 12 meter per second square. Is it not the super simple method instead of following all these integrations and differentiation? If you are enjoyed, subscribe to my channel, prescribe to your friends, and describe the comments below if you want this type of shortcuts. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. My dear students, as usual, my mission is to make physics easier than. botany zoology and chemistry the students who are struggling a lot with differentiation and integration i want to make their life easier in physics especially see the question see the long method integration method see the method which i will give you a small simple general method where you can do the problem in fraction of seconds you can just see here now so try to read the question and try to understand the question what he is going to explain you just see what is given here he has given that the value of v has been given to us what is the value of v you can just see here v is nothing but square root of alpha plus beta s okay then how are you going to solve this problem now okay so you can just see here squaring on both sides if you do v square is equal to alpha plus beta s and v square minus alpha is equal to beta s compare this equation with our general equation that is v square minus u square is equal to 2 as so if you compare these two equations here 2a is there in the place of 2a beta is there you can just take 2a is equal to beta 2a is equal to beta and you can write a is equal to beta by 2 this is a general methods where you need not require any efforts or any any special knowledge of calculus like integration and differentiation hope you enjoyed this problem if you like this then you can just subscribe to my channel prescribe to your friends and describe the comments below examination is botheration to indian nation whose main occupation is cultivation thank you very much have a nice day khushkhabri hai कि फिजिक्स बायोलॉजी से भी इजी कर दिया है हमने आपके लिए इतना आसान कर दिया आप देख लीजिए कितना लंबा सॉल्यूशन दिया है यहां पर एक डिस्क रोल कर रहा क्वेश्चन इज सेट दैट डिस्क इज हैविंग अ रोलिंग मोशन एंड व्हाट इज द वर्क डन बाय द डिस्क वाइल्ड रोलिंग एंड द लेंथी प्रोसेस इज गिवन कितना लंबा प्रोसेस दिया है मैं इसके लिए आपको सिंपल शॉर्टकट दे रहा हूं ए शॉर्टकट यही है सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर शॉर्टकट देख लीजिए आप तो जस्ट हाफ एम बी स्क्वायर वन प्लस के स्क्वायर बाय आर स्क्वायर एंड यू ऑल नो डिस्क का के स्क्वायर बाय आर स्क्वायर वैल्यू क्या है वन बाय टू है 
डायरेक्टली सब्सिट्यूट कर दीजिए यहां पर मास दे दिया सो मास यू सब्सिट्यूट एंड वेलोसिटी दे दिया वेलोसिटी सेंटीमीटर्स में है उसको मीटर्स में कन्वर्ट कर दिया पॉइंट टू एंड के स्क्वायर बाय आर स्क्वायर वैल्यू सब्सिट्यूट कर दे तो यू विल बी गेटिंग डायरेक्टली थ्रू थ्री जॉल्स आपका आसान कर दिया है माइंड इस तरह के शॉर्टकट्स के लिए डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक दिया है जाइए मेरे ऐप के अंदर चैप्टर वाइज डिस्कर आप थर्टी थर्टी आवर्स के अंदर आप हंड्रेड मार्क्स हासिल कर सकते हैं इन थर्टी आवर्स देर इज अ कोर्स ऑफ जस्ट वन टू डबल नाइन दैट थैंक यू माइंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेन एवर यू गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर विच वॉज आज के नीट टू थाउजेंड एटीन एंड नाइनटीन नाइन वेन यू फाइंड द स्ट्रक्चर इन विच देर आर टू नॉट गेट्स Two AND gates and one R gate. Definitely, this combination is going to become XR gate or exclusive R gate, whose two table is this one. That means A dot B bar plus A bar dot B. This is called as XR gate. The shortcut is no need of uh, applying any Boolean algebra or nothing else. Or no proof table is required. Just if the structure is having this type of pattern. you can just blindly say it is xr gate thank you very much my dear friends uh, you can just see this is a previous year problem which was asked in the year 2019 okay uh, abhi dekh lijiye yahan par kitna complex solution diya hua hai itna complex solution and diagram is also very complex it's very difficult to understand first try to understand what is the question here the question is these are the two mirrors मिरर ओ ए एंड ओ बी लाइट रे एंटर्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन एंड स्ट्राइक्स वन मिरर इट रिफ्लेक्ट बैक स्ट्राइक्स द अदर मिरर रिफ्लेक्ट बैक अगेन बट हि द कंडीशन इन द प्रॉब्लम विच इज गिवन इज इट इज सेट दैट द लाइट रे एंटर्स पैरल टू द मिरर ओ ए दट मीन्स इट इज पैरल टू ए ओ दिस लाइन इज पैरल टू ए ओ एंड आर एस इज पैरल टू ए बी दट मीन्स This R S is parallel to O B. These two are parallel. These two are parallel. It is given in the question, and he is asking us to find out the, what is an angle. Yeah. He, ye angle kitna hai? What is this angle? He is asking. Ye kitna angle hai? Angle between the mirrors. Pooch ra. Toh kaise solve karenge usko? Itna complexity ki zarurat nahi. I will give you a simple logic here. When these two light rays are parallel. This angle and this angle will be same because they are corresponding angles. When this line is parallel to this mirror, this angle and this angle is going to be same because they are corresponding angles. And now, here one more thing is this angle of incidence and this is angle of refraction. Whenever you take a line here, a light ray falls and reflects back. these two angles are called as glancing angles and they are going to be same these two are glancing angles they are going to be same with this it is understood that a theta agar hai to this is also going to be theta ye agar theta hai this is also going to be theta iska matlab and all the three angles are same that means you can consider the angle sum property what is the meaning of angle sum property uh, theta plus theta plus theta is going to be 180 degrees. This is called as angle sum property. So 3 theta is equal to 180. Theta is equal to 180 by 3. Your answer is 60 degrees. I have solved the problem in a different way. Instead of going to the complex methods, it is not so difficult. To understand, you can just understand this one. Okay. Dear students, let us see the structure here now. This is also a previous year question asked in. Neat and J means this type of many models are asked. Now in this case, uh, he has taken two mirrors. That is M1 and that is M2. This is M1. Ye M1 hai aur ye M2 hai. And they are having certain angle which is given. Wo angle bhi de diya. The angle is 70 degrees. Okay. So what is the condition here? Just see. So a light ray jo hai na, yahan se shuru ho ra. It is P and yahan par strike hoke. Then reflect ho ra. This is R. Again it is reflected back. in this case so this is taken as yes p q r yes but the condition here is uh is the condition given is the condition kya dena the condition is o a is parallel to r yes that means these two light rays are parallel when these two are parallel then 
यू विल गेट वन स्मॉल कंक्लूजन दैट ये एंगल 70 अगर है तो दिस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी 70 डिग्रीज बिकॉज दीज आर करेस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स पैर ऑल लाइन आर है सेम एंगल्स इफ दिस इज 70, दिस इज ऑल्सो 70. क्यों बिकॉज ये इसको ग्लैंसिंग एंगल्स बोलते हैं इसका मतलब इंसिडेंट रे रिफ्लेक्टेड रे दीज टू एंगल्स द एंगल्स मेड बाय द इंसिडेंट रे एंड रिफ्लेक्टेड विद द मिरर इज सेट बी ग्लैंसिंग एंगल्स और ये दोनों एंगल्स सेम है दट मीन दिस इज 70 एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो 70. and this is 70 this is 70 means it is 140 so in a triangle uh, agar ye do 70 hai to remaining angle how much it is going to be 70 70 140 means remaining is 40 okay and you know this is normal normal means it is making 90 degrees 90 degrees uh, when you remove 40 90 mein se agar 40 nikal do to what is remaining 50 is remaining so your answer is 50 my dear friends one more question asked in previous years Here also there are two mirrors M1 and M2, and angle between the two mirrors is 60. You can just see here, a light ray, which is called PQ, it strikes on the mirror, reflects, strikes on the other mirror, again reflects. PQRS. In this way, they are going to reflect. He is asking us to find out angle of incidence I. I को मालूम करने के लिए क्या है? तो how can you find out that I? किस तरह हम I को मालूम कर सकते हैं? It's a very simple logic here. But in the problem, there is one condition given. That condition is understand will be easy for you. The condition is PQ is parallel to mirror M2, and again RS is parallel to mirror M1. These two are parallel, and these two are parallel. Okay. And I said that if these two are parallel, अगर ये 60 है तो फिर ये भी 60. And ये 60 है तो ये भी 60. These two are called as glancing angles. What I mean to say is, one light ray falls and reflects back. This is incident ray and this is reflected ray. This is a mirror. Then ये दोनों angle हमेशा same रहते. ये दोनों को क्या बोलते हैं? They are called as glancing angles. We call them as a glancing angles here now. So this is 60 and this is 60. Okay? अगर ये 60 है तो फिर ये भी 60. क्योंकि ये दोनों parallel हैं. ये 60 है तो ये भी 60 बिकॉज दे आर कॉल्ड एज ग्लैंसिंग एंगल्स ओके दिस इज 60 एंड दिस इज 60 मींस दिस कंबाइंड टुगेदर इट इज 60 डिग्रीज बिकॉज 60 प्लस 60 प्लस 60 इज 180 एंड एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंगल ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन दोनों सेम है इसका मतलब 2i इज इक्वल टू 60 हियर दैट मींस i इज इक्वल टू 60 बाय 2 व्हिच इज 30 डिग्रीज सो दिस इज आल्सो सेम टाइप ऑफ मॉडल प्यारे बच्चों जनरली जो है ना इस तरह का प्रॉब्लम जहां पर आप लोगों को आउटपुट एक दे दिए सो आउटपुट इज वन आउटपुट एक देने के बाद इनपुट्स क्या चीज हो सकती यानी कि व्हाट शुड बी द इनपुट्स बोलिए पूछ रहा क्वेश्चन के अंदर जनरली सबसे मुश्किल मेथड क्या है टाइम कंज्यूमिंग मेथड क्या है ये पूरे टू टेबल को दौड़ना है क्योंकि थ्री इनपुट्स है तो एट पॉसिबिलिटीज है एट पॉसिबिलिटीज कितना टाइम लगता है मालूम आप लोगों को बहुत सारा टाइम खा जाता है मेरे पास सिंपल शॉर्टकट है इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट यानी कि इनपुट से आउटपुट जाने के बजाय मैं क्या करता हूं मालूम आपको रिवर्स मेथड इस्तेमाल करता हूं आउटपुट वन लेता हूं और इसके जरिए से इनपुट को आसानी से मालूम कर सकते जैसे कि आउटपुट अगर वन आना है एंड गेट के अंदर दोनों इनपुट अगर वन है तभी आउटपुट वन हो सकता इसी तरह यह भी एंड गेट है आउटपुट वन आना है मतलब ये दोनों इनपुट अगर वन है तो ही आउटपुट वन आएगा तो इससे ये पता चलता है कि तीनों के तीनों इनपुट्स वन होना चाहिए तो आपका ऑप्शन फोर है इसको कहते हैं कि रिवर्स मेथड रिवर्स टेक्निक बोलते हैं इसको अच्छा लगा तो कमेंट कीजिए कि कौन से चैप्टर के अंदर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम आपको सॉल्व करना है टूडे आई गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे सम मैजिकल शॉर्टकट फॉर्मूलास आज के मैजिकल शॉर्टकट फॉर्मूलास क्या है ये सेशन आपको नीट तक जाएगा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द नीट पीबीएस क्वेश्चंस एंड आल्सो जेई मेंस प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस सो दैट इट विल हेल्प बोथ ऑफ यू ओके देखिए आज के क्या है मैजिकल फॉर्मूलास फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये चैप्टर जो है ना वेव ऑप्टिक्स का चैप्टर है क्या है इसके मैजिकल फॉर्मूलास अभी आप देखते हैं यहां पर ये जो क्वेश्चन है ना नीट का प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन है उसके बाद जेई मेन्स का भी सेम मॉडल का क्वेश्चन हम समझाएंगे 
अभी देखिए यहां पर क्वेश्चन क्या है मालूम आप लोगों को इंटेंसिटी अगर पूछ रहा वाईडीएससी एक्सपेरिमेंट के अंदर या कोई भी एक्सपेरिमेंट के अंदर इंटेंसिटी मैक्सिमम माइनस इंटेंसिटी मिनिमम बाय इंटेंसिटी मैक्सिमम प्लस इंटेंसिटी मिनिमम अगर पूछ रहा तो हर मर्तबा इतना बड़ा फॉर्मूला यूज करने की जरूरत नहीं है हर मर्तबा इतना बड़ा फॉर्मूला यूज करने की जरूरत नहीं है हमारे पास एक मैजिकल फॉर्मूला है जो आपको बगैर सॉल्व करे के आप प्रॉब्लम कर सकते हैं इसको याद रखना कोई मुश्किल काम नहीं है सल्व आउट हम याद रख सकते हैं इतना बड़ा प्रोसेस करेंगे ना आप जबरदस्ती से आपको वन मिनट या टू मिनट्स लग जाएंगे बट हम आपको इतना आसान मेथड बताएंगे कि आपका दिल खुश हो जाएंगे लेटस गो एड विल डिस्कस अबाउट ए सिंपल शॉर्टकट सो दिस इज टूडेज मैजिकल फॉर्मूला ओके तो यहां पर क्या है यहां पर इंटेंसिटी uh, रेशियो दे दिया इंटेंसिटी रेशियो का मतलब यन है वो ओके सो इंटेंसिटी रेशियो मतलब आई वन बाई आई टू इज इक्वल टू यन दे दिया रेशियो दे दिया तो हमारा शॉर्टकट फॉर्मूला क्या हो गया मैजिकल फॉर्मूला यही है सो so, अगर रेशियो यन है तो फिर आंसर क्या होगा टू रूट रेशियो मतलब टू रूट यन बाई वन प्लस रेशियो वन प्लस रेशियो मतलब वन प्लस यन आपका आंसर रेडी नेक्स्ट ये हो गया जेई मेन्स का क्वेश्चन यहां पर क्या दिया आप लोगों को रेशियो व्हाट इज द रेशियो गिवन रेशियो इज आई वन बाय आई टू इट इज गिवन एज टू एक्स देख लीजिए यहां पर क्या दिया टू एक्स दे दिया ही हैज गिवन टू एक्स क्लास कितना आसान है मजा आ रहा है यार इतना मजा है फिजिक्स के अंदर इतना मजा है सो टू रूट रेशियो का मतलब क्या है टू रूट टू एक्स बाई वन प्लस टू एक्स तैयार है आंसर अच्छा लगा ठीक है तो नौ अभी देखिए यहां पर नीट का और एक प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन सेम मॉडल के अंदर तो यहां पर क्या पूछ रहा मालूम आप लोगों को सम ऑफ मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम इंटेंसिटीज पूछ रहा सम ऑफ मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम इंटेंसिटीज पूछ रहा ये हो गया मैक्सिमम इंटेंसिटी का फॉर्मूला ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी मिनिमम मतलब ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी क्योंकि यहां पर ये का मतलब रूट आई वन है बी का मतलब रूट आई टू है सो ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी का मतलब इसको सब्सिट करते चले आओ ये सम सम ऑफ स्क्वायर्स एंड डिफरेंस का स्क्वायर रूट है स्क्वायर्स है यहां पर तो यहां पर क्या पूछ रहा आप लोगों को सम पूछ रहा दैट मीन्स इज आसिंग टू फाइंड आउट आई मैक्सिमम प्लस आई मिनिमम ओके सी आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग इन इंग्लिश एज वेल एज हिंदी सो दैट साउथ ऑडियंस एज वेल एज नॉर्थ ऑडियंस बोथ गेट्स बेनिफिटेड सो यहां पर देख लिया जो आप लोग आई मैक्सिमम प्लस आई मिनिमम दो भी पूछ रहा इज आसिंग बोथ सो इफ यू एड दीज टू इफ यू एड दीज टू वॉट आर गोइंग टू बी कैंसल देखो प्लस कैंसिल हो जाएगा माइनस कैंसिल हो जाएगा अभी बचेगा क्या टू आई वन प्लस टू आई तो टू को कॉमन कर दीजिए आप लोग टू आई वन प्लस आई आ गया आपका आंसर सल वाटो में आ गया तो ये हो गया आपका सोल्यूशन होप यू एंजॉय थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स टुडे वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ फ्रूट्स शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स हियर तो इन दिस फ्रूट्स अभी आप लोग देख लीजिए ये है कैपलेरी राइज मेथड Uh, और इसके अंदर हमको रिलेशन मालूम करना है व्हाट इज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन मास ऑफ द लिक्विड एंड द रेडियस ऑफ द मेडिस इसका रेडियस आर है और इसका मास यम है मास ऑफ द लिक्विड एंड रेडियस सो क्या रिलेशन हो सकता है लेट मी डिस्कस यर एक तो क्या है फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन डाउनवर्ड्स इज टेकन एज यम इन टू जी फोर्स एक्टिंग अपवर्ड्स कैन बी टेकन एज टेंशन इन लेंथ ये दोनों फोर्सेस को इक्वल कर दे जो टेंशन इंटू लेंथ इज इक्वल टू मास इंटू ग्रेविटी एंड टेंशन लेंथ का मतलब सरकम फरेंस टू पाई आर यम इंटू जी सो मास और रेडियस का रिलेशन क्या हो गया यहां पर मास इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शन टू रेडियस सो यम टू बाई यम वन इज इक्वल टू आर टू बाई आर वन सो यम टू बाई फाइव आर टू हो गया टू आर आर वन हो गया आर यहां पर सो आर आर गेट्स कैंसल सो मास यम टू हो गया टू इंटू फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू टेन ग्राम्स ये हो गया आपका आंसर टेन ग्राम्स दस माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ये आपके लिए जबरदस्त शॉर्ट ट्रिक लेकर आया हूं जिसके अंदर ये प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन यूट्यूब का है यहां पर यूट्यूब है 
एंड इज आसिंग एस टू फाइंड आउट क्या पूछ रहा है यहां पर डेंसिटी ऑफ ऑयल पूछ रहा डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर थाउजेंड ग्राम्स पर आई मीन थाउजेंड के जी पर मीटर क्यूब आप लोगों को मालूम है तो कॉन्स्टेंट है तो यहां पर किस तरह इसको सॉल्व करें शॉर्टकट के अंदर तो द कॉन्सेप्ट हियर इज प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू हेच रो जी यहां पर प्रेशर एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर कॉन्स्टेंट है जी भी कॉन्स्टेंट है अब रिलेशन क्या है डेंसिटी इज इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू हाइट सो डेंसिटी ऑफ ऑयल बाय डेंसिटी ऑफ वाटर इज इक्वल टू हाइट ऑफ वाटर बाय हाइट ऑफ ऑयल तो सब्सिट्यूट कर दीजिए यहां पर वाटर का लेवल कितना है इट इज 65 फाइव एम एम सिक्सटी फाइव प्लस सिक्सटी इज वन और ऑयल का 10 सेंटीमीटर एक्स्ट्रा है इसलिए इट इज गोइंग टू बी वन सो डेंसिटी ऑफ ऑयल इज इक्वल टू वन आई मीन वन थर्टी इंटू इट इज गोइंग टू बी वन थर्टी इंटू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई वन फोर्टी तो आपको आएगा आंसर नाइन ट्वेंटी एट चाहे तो आप कैलकुलेशन करके देख लीजिए नाइन ट्वेंटी एट आंसर थैंक यू कौन मेडिकल स्टूडेंट चाहता है कि इंटीग्रेशन एंड डिफरेंशिएशन से प्रॉब्लम करे कोई नहीं चाहता वी कैन अवॉइड दैट वन नो नीड ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन नो नीड ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन डायरेक्टली वी कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वी कैन अवॉइड ऑल दिस न्यूसेंस एंड नॉनसेंस अब देखिए आप लोग यहां पर जो इक्वेशन दिया है ना ये इक्वेशन को इस्तेमाल करके डायरेक्टली विदाउट पेन पेपर सॉल्व कर सकते कैसे अभी देखिए ये इक्वेशन में यहां पर लिख दिया एंड आई एम कंपेरिंग दिस इक्वेशन विद जनरल इक्वेशन यस इज इक्वल टू यूटी प्लस हाफ एटी स्क्वायर अब यहां पर देखिए यहां पर क्या है हाफ ए के प्लेस में माइनस टू है और ये क्या हो गया माइनस फोर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई कर दो फोर मीटर्स पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स कोई भी प्रॉब्लम को बगैर इंटीग्रेशन एंड डिफ्रेंशिएशन के मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स किस तरह कर सकते हैं वो टेक्निक्स और वो चीट कोड्स में आप लोगों को बताता हूं सबसे पहले देख लीजिए प्रॉब्लम और इसका इंटीग्रेशन मेथड भी देख लीजिए मैं आपको बगैर इंटीग्रेशन के सॉल्व करना सिखा रहा हूं यू कैन जस्ट सी द इक्वेशन ये सारा प्रॉब्लम अच्छी तरह से पढ़ लीजिए आप लोग मुझे पढ़ने की कोई जरूरत नहीं आई कैन सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम बाय जस्ट दिस इक्वेशन x इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी प्लस फोर टी स्क्वायर मैं क्या करता हूं इसको s इज इक्वल टू यू टी प्लस हाफ ए टी स्क्वायर के साथ कंपेयर करता हूं अभी देख लीजिए यहां पर हाफ ए के पास क्या क्या चीज है ये और ये हाफ ए इज इक्वल टू फोर ये इज इक्वल टू एट मीटर्स पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर आ गया मेरा आंसर होप यू हैव एंजॉय माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेन एवर दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स विल कम यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम बाय यूजिंग फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम बट आई विल टेल यू अ चीट कोड मैं आप लोगों को चीट कोड समझाता हूं ये चीट कोड क्या होता है इतना आसानी से सॉल्व कर सकते ही इज आसिंग एस टू फाइंड आउट इसका एक्सेलरेशन कितना है और इसका एक्सेलरेशन कितना है यही तो पूछ रहा है ना इतना आसान है मालूम आप लोगों को इतना आसान है एक्सेलरेशन एंड मास आर इनवर्सली रिलेटेड एक्सेलरेशन इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू मास इसका मतलब जिसका एक्सल जिसका मास ट्रिपुल है उसका एक्सेलरेशन डी टू ग्रेविटी बाई थ्री होगा और जिसका मास यमी है उसका एक्सेलरेशन जी ही होगा बस इतना सा चीट कोड याद रख लीजिए इसको कोई फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम की जरूरत ही नहीं है ठीक है समझ गए आप लोग